Let's learn English through Educatune with teacher Aya. One of the best ways for the author to express his or her feelings, beliefs, and ideas in a direct way is by asserting. Assertion is used to let the readers feel that they should agree with what they read or hear. It is very common in various fields of life like literature, politics, and advertisements. Sample assertion is, Drinking a glass of milk can make our bones and teeth healthy and strong. As the reader's response to what is asserted in a text, a reaction is being made. Reaction is an action taken in response to something. Reacting to assertion is an essential skill in language learning. Making reactions will allow readers to express their thoughts and feelings about the text or situations presented. One can decide to agree or disagree on the given text. Sample reaction is Yes, I drink a glass of milk every day and it makes my bones and teeth healthy and strong. To give appropriate reaction, you can use the down strategy. D for do not conceal your feelings. O Organize your thoughts. W. Write your reactions. And letter N. Never leave it hanging. Let's try to use down strategy in giving reaction to the assertion that If you eat and then immediately go swimming, you will get stomach cramps. Let's start with letter D. D as in, do not conceal your feelings. Express your feelings using the knowledge you have gained from the material or from what you have heard. Making reactions is about expressing your feelings. In giving positive reactions, you may use any of these words, like absolutely, definitely, obviously, surely, very, certainly, exactly, really, truly, and yes. In expressing negative reactions, you may use almost, invalidly, no or not, probably, scarcely, contradictorily, never, no longer, and rarely. So, in the assertion, if you'll eat and then immediately go swimming, you'll get stomach cramps. We can react positively and use the word certainly. Next, letter O. Organize your thoughts. In expressing feelings, you need to write it logically. Elaborate your emotion at a time and give deep explanation about it. It will help your readers picture out what you have felt after reading the text. Once you have organized your thoughts, you can now put it into writing. W stands for Write Your Reactions. In writing your reactions, always consider putting detailed information. 
These details can be found either on the text or your own thought. Describe your emotions the way you express it because it gives life to your answer. Lastly, N is for never leave it hanging. Your reaction should have good impression. Thus, our reaction to the given assertion is Certainly, it is not advisable to swim when your stomach is full as you will most likely get stomach cramps. Let's now try. Read the given assertion, then choose the correct reaction from the options. In this time of pandemic, there should be a limit to the number of passengers in a public transportation. What do you think is the appropriate reaction for this assertion? A. Absolutely! So that social distancing is observed to fight the spread of the virus. B. Yes! so that people are seated apart and have enough space for their belongings. Or let her see, no, it is not necessary. Congratulations, you have just completed this lesson. Do not forget to hit like and subscribe to Teacher Aya Educatun. Thank you.